Hi. So, in today's video, which is actually the second video going up onto my channel, I will be showing you how to paint a a a line a British line infantryman who has a musket on his back, uh, the backpack they always have with the saucepan, the sleeping bag, personal carriage, uh, luggage, and I never knew what that was. So today I'm going to be showing you how to construct him as well as paint him. So time to construct him. Let's get the pliers out. So with if you're ever buying this pack, it's completely compatible with Every other, every other line infantry set that has actually come out and has been made by Airfix, I think. So, I'm going to have this guy out and then I will be back. These models come in three pieces. You have his, his head, which, which can, don't, can not have, you can have two forms, well, three forms. You can have one with a bandaged eye, one that just looks like the one that I'm using, and then one that doesn't have a helmet. So they come in three parts, the head, the backpack, and his body. So I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue these together, and I'll be back. I'm back now with them glued. The glue is still a bit wet, but one thing to look out for when you're gluing is the backpack slot. It's just one tiny little hole in his back. So I'd recommend having a little like a very like a precise nozzle on when you're putting that. So you can just get it in there because usually if you get just a little bit too much on it would spill down his legs and nobody wants that. Head's still drying a bit there, so I'll be back when it's dry. So his head is dry there. And the colour, I'm using the Citadel paint system. Uh, because I feel that it works a lot better than the, than the paints that Airfix has put out. Well, that's just my opinion. You can use which, whichever you want. But this, for Citadel, the ones that you will want is McCrag Blue. Retribution Armor, Lead Belcher, Bugman's Glow, Mournfang Brown, Abaddon Black, and Mephiston Red. The reason I'm using Mephiston Red is because, you know, the old British right coats. Sorry about that. And, I actually, I actually forgot to mention a colour. Gonna need Wraithbone. For the little satchel that he's holding. Probably full, probably full of grenades or something. Old timey grenades. So half the time with those grenades they'd blow up in your hand before they killed anybody else. Except you. So the first colour that we're going to be using is going to be Abaddon Black. So for this model you will only need an artificer brush. You will not need any other brush because the details on this guy are so small that it's impossible to get at them without an artificer brush. So what we're going to do is always remember, shake up your paints and water down your brush before you use either of them. Take some out of the pot, put down on your pallet or your wet pallet or just a piece of cardboard that you found around the house. Then dip your paintbrush into your water and then water it down. If for you it feels too watery, you can put more from the pot into it to give it a little bit more of a thick texture. 
I felt that I put a little bit too much water into it, so I did that. So the bits that you want to color black are his pants and his cap. I will be back when I have them painted in. Okay, so with that black done on him, it's still, it's still a little bit wet. I know that. So it will take a little bit of time to dry with the added water. But what you can do is take your artificial brush again, water it off, get your Mephiston, Mephiston red paint, give it a tiny little shake, oh I actually shook it a lot there, whoopsie, grab a lump out of the pot, water it down just a tiny little bit, I put too much water in again. Okay. You're going to paint the coat of your man. I'll be back when that's. The next color you're going to need is the Mournfang is the Mournfang brown paint. This paint is usually pretty liquidy. Well, that's with my experience. So you don't need to water this color down at all. The bits you're aiming at are the suitcase or his backpack, his boots. And his musket. And to mention something else, there are actually French versions of these. So I would recommend getting them as well. And I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so now that we have the brown done, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to paint the sleeping bag and the little cuffs on his hands. I think if I zoom in, you should be able to see it. Could you, can you see it? There. Little things just above his hands. That's what we're going to be painting now. Okay, so you're going to need McCrag Blue because, yeah. Ah, always shake it up. You need to take only the tiniest little bit out. Maybe that pong it down on your palette. And I'm not going to skip forward for this because it is a very, very small little process. I don't think I'll need to skip. And if you get blue on anything that isn't supposed to be blue, it is absolutely fine. Wait, wait for the paint to dry, and then just add an another coat. So look there, I just look there. I just got it on. I just got it on his shoulder. So I'll wait for the paint to dry, and then paint over that with red. There you go. And you pop them there. If you still have some excess McCrag blue that you didn't actually use, scoop it up on your paintbrush and scrape it off onto the inside of the container.
There's something goes. Okay, so the next color you are going to need is wraith bone. Give it a shake. It's liquidy paint, so don't thin it down unless you want a white waterfall. The bits that you're going to paint are a little satchel I was talking about towards the start. Little satchel I said about the start. And then the little cross, little cross, cross straps on his chest. Pretty hard to miss. They, they are in an X over his chest. And don't also forget to paint the little straps on his back. So, so yeah, it's nearly done now. The only thing that we really have to do now is pop on the silver, the gold, and the skin. I'll do I'll do the skin. The color you need is Bugman's Glow. It, it, I wouldn't recommend thinning it down. It's a transparent paint. So I'll be back when I have the Bugman's Glow for his skin. And the lead belcher for the metal bits are uh, done. Oh, and another quick thing with the lead belcher. Do not thin it down because all of the metallic flakes will come out of it and it will just be grey. So now I have the skin of Bugman's Glow and the metal with lead belcher done. And move on to the final base page you're going to need. Uh, it's Retributor Armor for all of his proud gold patches that he has earned. Hopefully not. Hopefully not by stealing them. How am I? Oh yeah. Get some gold out of the pot. For some reason, the retribution armor paint is a, is a real pain to get out of the pot. Because no matter how much you shake it, only the liquid will ever come to the top. Okay, finally, I got some. I got some of the actual paint. Okay. This guy isn't a lieutenant, so he doesn't have the gold patches on his shoulder. But he does have gold basically everywhere else. So. There. That is this model done. Now, we're not, the video isn't over, so don't click off, but we're actually going to use some Citadel grass tufts as a little, as a little, as a cool little thing on the base, the little circle he's standing on. It really helps if you have a tweezers. Nearly knocked them over. Take these. Then dot them all the way around his base. So it gives the illusion that he's walking through a grassland. Get off my finger.
There. It's not the most perfect thing in the world. But it looks pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one where I will I will be painting a Blood Raven Space Marine.